I will tell you only one thing. I am completely believing in the American justice system. I know in the end I will be vindicated. Somebody ought to waste that fucker. Who is he? Our old bar now, real scum. Yeah, he buys and he sells kids, gets them into pornography and prostitution, you name it. This guy's filthy rich. Heard he does snuff films, too. What's that? Ladies, can we change the subject here? Well, what's gonna happen to him? Not enough. You know, I'm afraid they're just gonna deport the prick. He's with the Coletta crime family, very well connected. Yeah, and well protected. He never goes anywhere without his police. Get it, Jesse. Look, I know where he lives. I saw it on TV. Jesse. This is not the time or the place for that shit. So how are you doing tonight, Jen? God, I've made more money tonight than my husband did in a week. I'm fucking them all, I'll blow you all to hell! Listen up! I'm looking for the fucking who is that fucked up my kid brother! You looking for somebody? Stop that gun, bitch! I'll blow her fucking head off! Hear me, cut? A waste You kill her, and I kill you. Okay, make it a fucking stand off to the cops bust in. I'll tell them all I know about this goddamn joint. I'll tell them what you did to my kid brother. Ah! Police, police, drop the fucking gun! Drop it! Well, we hear that was quite a shot you made, Jesse. You're a regular Dirty Harry. How'd you get to be so good with a gun? Well, I've been around guns my whole life. My daddy was a Green Beret. Good old dad wanted to make sure I learned how to shoot properly, even if I was just a girl. Came pretty naturally to me, actually. OK, so everything's cool. You guys, the gun's licensed. You have all the paperwork. Oh, yeah. Everything's cool. The gun's legal. It's not in your name. Oh, no shit. It's Annie's gun. <laughs> what did you guys expect me to go hide in the back and wait for you heroes in blue to come and save the day? I mean, that fucking nutcase could have could have killed everyone in here. I bet I saved a few lives. So why did Annie give you her gun? Because I manage this place for her. I'm the one that risks her ass every night to make the goddamn bank drop. Listen, Jesse, you can't carry a gun in the city without a permit. That's gonna get your cute little ass a year minimum at Rikers. Well, I guess I'm lucky I never got caught then, huh? Look, could we wrap this up? No, you still haven't told us why the shooter. What was his name, partner? Eddie Jarvis. Yeah, why Jarvis wanted to kill everybody in here. Now, why was he so angry, Jesse? How the fuck should I know? Maybe he propositioned a bunch of the dancers and they all turned him down. <laughs> that usually pisses him off pretty good. I mean, they all have such delicate little egos. Jesse, cut the shit. How should I know? He was a junkie. Why don't you take blood samples? Look, sweetie, cut the bullshit. Don't fucking call me sweetie! If. He was on anything. Forensics will let us know. Now, why don't you be a good girl and tell us what he was saying right before you capped him? So does he call you girl on the job? Answer the question, Jesse. All right. What was the question? What was he saying before you capped him? He was talking bullshit. Yeah, well, a few of the customers claim that um, they heard Jarvis said he wanted revenge for his brother. Now, why would he say that, Jesse? Yeah, Jesse. Why would he say that? Look, I've told you everything I know. I don't have the time or the interest to keep track of every nut and his brother who comes in this place. All right. That'll be enough for now. But you stay in town, because we may need to speak to you again in a few days. You got a problem with that, Jesse? Do I have a choice? What do you think? I think she doesn't like cops. Yeah, well, we should definitely check her out and Jarvis's brother, too. Oh, yeah. What about that waitress? 
What about her? I've seen her somewhere before. Did anybody get a statement out of her? No. The woman that owns the place said she just started last week. She's not gonna know anything. Besides, we ought to leave her alone after what she's been through. You can't leave her alone. What, you turning soft on me already, Grady? Jesus Christ, Billy, look at her. They're cleaning Jarvis's brains out of her hair, okay? We'll come back in a couple of days and get a statement. I've seen her somewhere. Well, all I want to see now is breakfast. His name's Raleigh. Who? Raleigh Jarvis, Eddie's younger brother. And just like Eddie, he's a card-carrying Hells Angel, Third Street chap. Does he have a sheet? No deed four weeks ago. Shit. It's the end of that, right? So, was it suicide? Well, it sure as hell looks like it. See, Eddie found him unconscious, right? Takes him over to Beth Israel, gets his stomach pumped, and there were so many fucking pills, it was like a drugstore, not to mention traces of cocaine and booze. Yeah. Eddie said he wanted revenge for his brother, right? Yeah. Maybe something happened at the Widow's Den that pushed him to suicide. Why? I don't know. Maybe they messed him up or something. Hmm. I don't know about that. But I did get the lowdown on Jesse. So spit it out, partner. Jesse Skinner shot and killed her father, Colonel Frank Skinner, at the tender age of 14. She claimed the old man started molesting her and her younger sister, Trish, right after their mother died. Jesus, looks like Daddy taught her to shoot pretty good, huh? Colonel Frank was a real John Wayne type. Fought in two wars, got every medal there is to get. At Fort Benning, they practically worshipped the guy, so nobody believed Jesse's story. What a surprise. Jesse ended up at the Elvira Home for Disturbed Children. She kept busting out, fighting with other inmates, even stabbed the doctor. So they bumped her up to the Georgia State Correctional Facility for women. 